Okay, I'm uh, at the beach right now. Very big cut right here. You can see there's a big cut in here. It dropped about two feet in this area here. Got a lead sinker here to start with. Just first signal, loud and clear, lead sinker. See how really high that is? Big cut right here. That's good, good news here. There's boulders, I haven't seen these boulders. I haven't seen that boulders. There were tiny the boulders before. Look at this, all washed out here. This whole area is gonna be a hot spot. I have a friend coming here. I got a bunch of other guys hunting a few beaches over. I heard Roberto got a gold tooth already. So gotta hit this hard systematically. Go for gold, antique gold we're looking for. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, I just found a part of a silver chain right here in the bottom, hard pan here. We're right in the bottom here. There's gonna be a lot of targets here. I don't know if there'll be gold here, but anything that is heavy is trapped in this lower hard pan layer. Part of silver, silver chain right there. Guaranteed, okay. Having problems hearing my GoPro. It's just, I'm getting so much. If I put my coil down, it's going to, it's, it's so, so, um, uh, there's a lot of black sand here, so my coil goes off, so it's hard to hear things here. So hopefully I can get some filming in anyways. Okay, stay, stay tuned. I uh, just got a musket ball, and they're really rare to find musket balls. So we got into a really low area. I would say it's a musket ball, that looks like no uh, fishing. I would think, not 100% sure, but it's around like a musket ball. So I think something's good gonna turn, turn up soon. I know someone got a Spanish coin out of here, like a 1700 Spanish coin out of here, somewhere in this area, I'm not sure where, but it's old, they call it Spanish banks, so because the Spanish were, they came through here. Okay, stay tuned. Another bullet here, it looks to me like a 38, maybe possibly, I don't know. It's got a couple rings on it, it looks like an older bullet for sure, I would think. Okay, yeah, it could have a silver coin, maybe it's a big caked ball here. Clear. I'll then reveal it a little bit later. Okay. Yeah, silver, silver ball looks like. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's really going on. It looks like the tide's coming or something. It should have been low tide right now, but it's got a wind coming and it's tide's kind of an unusual tide. It's a big cut here. See that? So it's kind of killing my hole here. It's kind of filling up here, but I got something's got a hole in it. It almost looks like some sort of pendant or something. Wow, this could be super old. I see stuff on there. Wow, this could be like an artifact of some sort. It looks to be silver. Very crude. Wow. This could be like trade silver. With an, you know, natives possibly, you never know. Definitely made into a pendant. It's got a hole right there. And there's some sort of carving design. I could see something there, but a little bit hard to make it out. I'm thinking silver just because it's black. It's not killer heavy or nothing, but uh, wow, look at this, it's coming like crazy. What's going on here? It's filling my hole up, but it's really mucky here. It goes down about six inches. What happens is washed all everything out here, left a mucky layer. Wow, this could be a really good find. And have to electrolyze it later and see if there's anything on it. Okay, stay tuned. I uh, just found another musket ball. Definitely musket ball, you can tell. This one's uh, really corroded and uh, caked on. So it's been, you know, in, in the elements really big time. That's all I can think they're musket balls. What else? I don't think they're lead fishing weights. But, you know, I just don't know. I'm thinking musket ball for sure. Okay. What sweetie? Meeting up Roberto. Roberto did really good today. Hello, Got one wheat cent. 44. 1944 wheat cent. A bag seal or something? Maybe a bag seal? Yeah. No, that's not a bag seal, it's something different. I don't know, but <laughs> I don't think it's a bag seal. That's gold tooth. Yeah. The portal got a gold tooth, so I lost a tooth. Oh! And almost lost, lost it again! again. <laughs> gold tooth, yeah, it's definitely gold tooth, that's cool. It's got an 18 karat pendant. Yep, Italian 750. Italian 750, awesome, Roberto, you did yep. good. Oh, you got the religious things oh, here. Old style, brass, I think. It's heavy, this thing. Brass. Oh, it's brass. Brass, maybe. Yeah. Wow. How do you do, JP? We got a decorative earring. JP's got an earring. I'll just kind of go like that. Earring there. What'd you get there, Steve? Silver. Steve. Oh, yeah, awesome. 
What about you, Leah? How'd you just say? Yeah, yeah. Love it late. Okay, he came late. late. <laughs> he came like two hours late. Okay, <laughs> let's look at my finds. Let's look up. Hey, Roberto. Okay, we're gonna look at my finds here. Okay. What's going on? Oh, here. A little bit windy here, so. Uh, actually, um, Lee found this, so I kept it. Found the lead, so I kept that. There's a pendant here. What do you think of that thing? I think that's something super early. Piece of a chain, silver chain. Could be. What's silver? It's like something on the end there, like a charm almost. What's that? Is this yours? Yeah, so I think it's silver. Here. The pendant here, I'm thinking. Silver, or just say it's got weight no, to this it. This is the clasp. Got a couple musket balls. Another bullet here. Uh, about well, seven coins, maybe eight coins. Looks like it's silver. Oh shit! You broke it up. How long you been taking? JP, that? you're breaking everything. There's some sort of piece of metal there. I don't know if it's silver, Phil. I don't know. It's rusty, anyways. Well, yeah, I wouldn't. I think so. It's probably no big deal, anyways. It's all crusty, anyways. No, we're nothing. But anyways, so uh, onward and upward. My that's what finds for the day. Okay, we're at, still at the beach here. We're gonna maybe do some dirt digging. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Okay, Hi. Roberto got a silver nickel here. Uh. Oh yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Is that a Victoria? Vicky? Vicky. No oh, way. Really? It looks like a Vicky. No, it's not. It's no? Edward. Edward? Still, though. Hell no. 79 squeak. No friends? Edward. <laughs> what? What year? Let me see. The year. Maybe it's the same as mine. Well, rub it up and scratch it. Huh? Lick it. Lick it. <laughs> I got her. 1908? Oh, wow. Well, you got 1909 today, right? 1910. 1910, you got 1909? Huh? You're the money. No, it's pretty okay. hilarious. Okay, Roberto's there. gonna dig a live dig here. But on top of this hole, right in the pyramid, it's got a marble. <laughs> Freemasons are hanging out there. Yeah. Oh. Right on the edge there, huh? Side with maybe a rusty nail now, Phil. Mm, but... It's a problem. Yeah. Nails come side on the sides for the yeah, hole. Yeah, I see it. That's what you have to dig to the uffies to get the nails. Wow, it's a nice shape, this marble. Wow, can't get it out. Get a bonus, sir, Riddle. Actually, yeah. nice, look, nice looking marble. Old. Yeah, I don't want him. That, to be that deep, it's pretty old, huh? I'll take the Marbella. The Marble. Yeah, big freaking thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what'd There's you another find? Hole. Another fishy. Silver nickel? That deep? I think it's a dime. No, no it's, a... it's a fishy. I think it's a dime. No, it's not. No, it's not a dime like that, Roberto. No? It's fish scale. Yeah, it's, can't see. Oh, uh, George V. That's silver nickel. What year? No, it, it's Edward again. Let's Edward's see. left. I mean right. Yeah, right here. I'm looking for it. Dude, I'm looking at it. Edward. Is that Edward's? Yeah. What year? It's it is Edward. See? Oh yeah. Oh, look at you, man. Um, 19... Ah, uh, Canadian. And what, what year is it from? Oh, could be key date, buddy. Is well, it? what's the date? 19... No, it's 1905. 1905. 1905? Yeah. What, and that's just... Six inches under the ground. Yeah, uh, less than yeah that. but look how small it is, they're hard to detect. Mind if I have a look? They're, they're, little, they're right. silver. I've been, I've been so curious. Holy shit. They're hard to uh, detect because it's very small. Silly question, but like, is that worth a bit of money or is it just more for the sort of like. Pretty good. I got something in my hole here, but we'll figure it out in a minute. Get back at the beach here. The cut I worked is over here, but it's kind of disappearing. Maybe 
try my luck in here because when this is really busy, it's jam packed, I would think. All this area here where it's a little bit low could produce. See, it did fill in a little bit here, but it's still, I think, got my ring around somewhere, somewhere in here, I think. It ended up being four grams worth just over $150 at 14 carat. It's a little rocky here, so you know, when you hit the rocks, you know, the gold sits in the rocks, right? Okay. Started. Some nice houses along there. I did some demolitions years ago, a few years back in that area. Hopefully, something produces back in this line here. Last time I, I was hunting here and the tide came this way around, filled in really fast. Um, the tide's coming in already, but you can see some miles, miles out. It was probably a half a foot tide, maybe. Maybe um, three foot, maybe some of that, half a meter, some of that goes by meters, probably about three feet. Some of that, two and a half feet or something, or less, who knows? I don't see no hunters here. Okay, well, let me get started. Um, any good targets, I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, only interesting thing here was uh, it's still down a foot easy. 2018 polar bear swim delta pin back sounded like on the surface but it's still a foot down hmm. that's about it no coins just uh, beer cans beer cans from the 70s black label see beaver tails you got two of these way down there two feet down I put a whole bunch of craters over there but someone's been digging here so who knows what they got but just I'll tell you, no coins. That's how the beach is, right? One day you can get something good, next day it's just in the trash. It looks like it could start raining. A little bit cooler, which is nice. Tide's coming in, but still way out there. I got two hours easy, but I'm not gonna hunt here much longer, I think. It's just not uh, paying off for me today, so. Plus I'm tired from doing the garbage and stuff. I still got to do stuff at home. Okay, let's see what else happens here. Stay tuned. I think I got a coin. Something shiny like a coin. It was actually loud. It was actually, I don't know, so deep. It's actually pretty loud. I don't think it was that deep. Oh, well, three scoops. Quarter. 70s quarter, maybe. Maybe it's the 80s, actually. 90s. They got the, uh... Fisheries here are giving people tickets for clams. They use uh, the, all the Asian people come here, so they're actually uh, getting fined here. One lady got fined right there. He counted all the clams. This lady's getting fined here. He's pulling his ticket book. On the polar bear swim, 2013 now, five years older. Look at that, huh? Delta Parks Recreation. Polar bear swim 2013. Look at that. Way down there. There's actually, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six scoops at least. Crazy. Okay. I just found a loony, dollar coin. Found a quarter here, a quarter here, and a quarter up there. That's about it. Three coins and a whole bunch of trash. Big trash, too. I'm just going to zigzag up and down here a little bit. Tide's coming. You can see it's already kind of, kind of, kind of coming off the angles here. These little pools and comes around so i got maybe half an hour here and then that's it i pushed off hopefully uh, i can find gold before this uh beach comes in so we'll see now the tide comes in look at this it just slowly comes in like a river look at this even faster than i thought see that starts filling all the uh, low spots then the high spots you got, you, got a tent, you got a tent over there there's people way out there i just wonder how deep it is way out there because you get pockets, right? Sometimes they're a foot down. Well, that's coming in like pretty quick. There's that river starts flowing over there. But anyways, got to work on the slope here a little bit. I'm going to get out of here. See what happens. Hopefully I can find the gold. It's my uh, mission, but you know, sometimes it never happens. We'll see. 
Yeah, I finished the hunt there, uh, not too good today, but uh, these little, or like probably 70s, 80s maybe, these cans, no barcode type cans, they're ounces, not uh, milliliters, so they're older. I think there's a problem with cans in this beach, there's probably a lot of uh, things going on in the 70s, you know, partying and stuff, so stuff got buried in the sand, but here's the two uh, polar bears swimming. 2013, 2018, kind of different, huh? So I found a loony, a couple quarters, nothing old, one or two nickels and a couple of pennies, and a, maybe a penny and a dime. My trash, you know, this cable rotted away, the ocean. This is stuff I'll take out, the really big stuff I can't take out. I depends, you know, what situation. Sometimes I'll leave it on top, but depending when there's lots of people and kids, I'll, I'll probably just buried back in the hole or something, I have no choice when their metal is way too long and too heavy, you can't deal with it. But I don't take a lot of it, so this is the most of the stuff that I take. You know, these cans are two, two feet down, you know, it's like this, even this was probably a foot and a half down, right? I uh, just wanted to mention, I talked to the forest, our fishery guy, I asked him how much a fine is, he told me a fine is $250 for removing shells from a contaminated location and a hundred dollars with for how not having a license so that lady got a three hundred fifty dollar fine and you got to pay it right he told me the other day 23 people he fined so it was a good business there but uh problem is it's not the question is they find people what the question is a lot of people take it to restaurants they have restaurants where they sell it so you think you got a clam chowder soup next thing you're sick or you got mercury poison here who knows what so Anyways, uh, that's kind of what it is. Pretty nice guy. I talked to him for about 10 minutes. Um, but uh, like I say, uh, I, t I told him to keep up the good work. He was happy. Just because, you know, fact is, if they took it home, and you know, it's okay. It's up to them. If they want to poison yourself. But the end, end result is it's prohibited location, contaminated seafood. I remember as a kid, 40 years ago, more maybe, or just over 40 years ago, I'm not sure if this is the beach here or another beach. I remember uh, we used to take clams, but the clams are huge. They were like big like this. These are all tiny. They're all about that big. Size of maybe a silver dollar. So what I think it is, uh, you know, they give them a chance to regrow, but the problem is the soil and uh, you can see the stuff. It's so black and full of oil. They're definitely, you know, poisonous, right? I mean, I like this, this coin here. It's a painted penny, but this penny is from one of our Meltecti hunts we have on the beach in Vancouver. So they must see it was it was probably for a silver dime or something. It was they painted a token color. It's a penny painted green. So but I found it about at least half a mile away from the original location. So there's chances maybe the current took it away because we we are in Locarno having our club hunts, and this was like about uh, four or five beat beach stands over so it's amazing how stuff can travel it was it was in a big it was a bit of a cut so i guess these coins float around anyways that's it on this hunt here bit of a bust fun anyways i made my money in the morning did my uh, garbage run okay guys have a great day thanks for watching